Hey guys, welcome back to the Six Hearts on Six Acres Garden. I am Bree, and I am so very glad to be able to share this space with you. This morning when I woke up, it felt like fall outside. It was so beautiful. The air was crisp. It had just the slightest hint of a chill to it. The grass and the leaves are starting to turn colors, mostly probably because it has been so very dry. But also the leaves are starting to fall. And I just know that a change of seasons is coming. I had to go to work today, um, but before I did, I wanted to make sure and spend a little bit of time in the garden, take advantage of this beautiful weather because we have heat again right around the corner. So I wanted to take advantage of this 60 degree morning and get as much harvested as I could. My tomatoes and peppers desperately needed my attention I had some that were starting to turn because I just haven't been spending a lot of time in the garden lately. As you see, I had some um, tomato hornworms that I was dealing with. I am feeding those to my chickens. And so I just needed to give an hour of my time this morning to my garden to get as much harvested as possible and to take care of any pests that I could. And I wanted to bring you along with me. I'm going to be quiet for the rest of this video so you can listen to the beautiful sounds of nature, but I just want to leave you with a few words of one of my favorite songs by Joey and Rory. When I am in the garden and I am working with my hands and I'm growing food that my family eats and I'm listening to nature, that is when I personally feel closest to God. I have the quiet and the peace that I need to really think and to pray, and I hope that hearing this can give you that sense of overwhelming peace as well but one of my favorite songs by joey and rory is called i see him and part of the song says because i see him in the seeds i grow i hear him in the roosters crow i feel him when my husband's hand is in mine i taste him in the meals i make i smell him in the bread i bake when i look around i don't have to wonder where he'll be i see him in you and I hope you see him in me. That is my prayer as I share this garden journey with you, that although I do want to show you my actual garden and, and teach you how to do the same, I also want you to see the love of Christ in me and see Jesus in me as well.